Hi, Dr. Todd Sullivan from Nova Chiropractic and Acupuncture. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the buckle band. This is a new type of mini band that came out, and basically it's a mini band that has a buckle built into it, hence the name buckle band. And why that's great though is it's easy to take on and off. So if you have any hip mobility issues, knee or ankles, it's really easy to slip the band on above the knees. And this is great if you're doing any clamshell, uh, hip adduction exercises, it provides great resistance and it's easy to take on and off. We're gonna compare that with the traditional mini band, which this is the one that I like, it's from Perform Better. It's real simple, but basically it's an enclosed loop, so it's a little bit harder to take on and off, if you, especially if you have any mobility issues. So we're gonna compare the two mini bands. So now I'm gonna demonstrate how to use the buckle band. We'll demonstrate how easy it is to take on and off. And then we'll do a comparison with the other typical mini bands I've used in the past and show you their limitations in terms of putting them on. So to apply the buckle band, what you're gonna do is you're gonna unbuckle that. You're gonna wrap around the uh, rubber portion right above the knees. And then you're gonna secure that with the buckle just like that. And then again, the nice thing with this is it's so easy just to put on and off. So if you have ankle, knee, or hip mobility issues, you're not struggling to try to get the mini band over your clothing and it's much easier. And then again, you wanna make sure the buckle is right in between the legs so you, the rubber portion is uh, right around your legs and it's not rubbing at all. And then you can just do your typical either clamshell exercises or you could do your lateral walks or you could do your monster walks all the typical exercises you would do with a mini band, um, but just an easier way to put them on and off. Now let's show you how you'd put on a traditional mini band and show you the limitations and how it can be more difficult in terms of applying it. So this is the traditional mini band I've used in the past. This is by a company called Perform Better. Um, they have different strengths of resistance, just like the other buckle brands. But again, this is a fixed loop. So it's kind of difficult to get on and over your clothing. So I'm gonna have Renee demonstrate how you should put this on over her pants there. So again, you gotta get uh, one leg through and then get the other one through. And then you have, ideally you wanna pull it up so that it, the band is nice and flat and not twisted. And so a lot of times you're struggling to kind of get it flat like that. Um, and again, it works fine. It, it provides resistance just like you would need to. But again, if you have mobility issues, the buckle band is definitely a better way to go. And it just makes it so much easier to pop in and off. And again, if you have to take it off, you're struggling sometimes to get it off because you're tired, you're exhausted from the workout. It's just awkward to kind of take off of your legs. Another advantage of the buckle band is it can also be used just as a straight band. So what I mean by that is when you unbuckle it there, unlike the other mini band, which is a fixed loop, this can be used just as a regular straight uh, band. So again, if you wanna do pull aparts or other type of exercises, you can use it in a different way. As opposed to the traditional mini bands, they're just a fixed thing and they're very limited in terms of what you can use. I think the buckle band is a great band if you're having mobility issues and you're looking for a good mini band that provides great resistance and but easy to put on and off. If you have any questions, reach out to me at 703-912-7822.